What's going on everybody? Welcome to the video. So today is game day. I'm super excited. I just woke up. It's about nine o'clock in the morning. Gave myself some extra time to sleep, which obviously wasn't super effective because I was up most of the night anyway, thinking about the game today. It's our first preseason game. I'm going to run you through a lot of the stuff that I do on game day, including some of the things that you saw in the video prior. I just wanted to set you up for what goes on today. Today's going to be more vlog style, but I'm going to show you a lot of the things that I do as opposed to actually telling you about them. I'm so super excited absolutely buzzing um, and then I'll do a little recap after the game and that'll be about the video so really excited guys and uh, I'll see you guys in the next clip here we go All right, so foam roll done, light off. I'm going to grab some breakfast right now. Because of the timing, I'm probably just gonna eat something really small, like a few eggs right now, and then I'll have a bigger meal in about an hour and a half to two hours. Um, and that way I can get all the proper nutrients and stuff I need before the game. Lots of energy and uh, probably do some rice pasta with some chicken and a banana, which is kind of my usual go-to. So time to chef up in the kitchen. I will set you guys up and see you guys after these three eggs are, and maybe uh, some fruit are done. So eggs for this morning is just three eggs with uh, nothing on them. Um, they turned out kind of weird because this pan's getting a little old and a little sticky, which is fine. Um, it's the same thing, so eggs are eggs for me. I don't really care that much. Um, if I'm really trying to impress some one person or myself in the morning most times, um, then I will cook them better than this, but right now I just don't care because I'm more it's more important just to get the food down for game day. So, as you can tell, I'm very like occupied. So, that's why I'm gonna more show you everything as opposed to saying everything. Um, so, three eggs in this sort of omelet weirdness, don't bother with that. And then this is just uh, some unsweetened almond milk with blueberries and some raisins. And I like the fruit in the morning um, because it gives me some good energy, good sugars, and obviously some good carbs without being super heavy. I'm going to do most of my carbs in the next meal in about two and a half hours. So that's kind of the nutrition plan for today. And then afterwards, I'm actually going to be going out and hanging with some friends out in Perth. So it'll be much more relaxed. We're going to have like Thai food or Italian food or something. So um, I won't be vlogging then, but I will definitely wrap up the video, obviously for you guys after the game and stuff. So lots between now and then, but sit back, relax and enjoy. So some of you may be asking because I have headphones in probably most of this morning and today before my game. I am listening to this morning a bunch of random songs that are on like Spotify's Discover Weekly. Let's see, I can open this up a little bit. Ooh, daylight, hello. 
and so some discover weekly stuff and then I'll move into more of my pregame playlist that I described in the video prior so go check that one out um, lots of hip-hop music before the game kind of get that like swag on a little bit before uh, everything starts to happen about an hour and a half before the game so when we're in the locker room I'm responsible for the music so I've got a playlist that I'll be working on today so right now I'm just gonna sit in my recovery pump machine and get some recovery going before watching some soccer I'll be doing a lot of music and watching some of the Liga games so let's get into it Yo, so something that I wanna chat about really quick. Um, so obviously, as you can see, uh, game days are super easy. Uh, I don't really do much during game days other than watch any soccer games that have happened the night before or obviously our live. This one is Granada and Getafe from Spain. Outside of that, I mean, it's like checking social media, talking to some friends, talked to my family this morning as I was eating breakfast. So really, really relaxed, honestly. Just getting my mind right so that as soon as about three hours beforehand starts, that's when I'll start to get that pregame meal going. And then that's when that like, getting in that mindset really starts. So again, this is what works for me. Obviously, some of that may not work for you. That's totally fine. But I do encourage you to make sure that you kind of put aside distractions and I'm not saying that sort of uh, against what I've been doing, looking at social media or watching soccer, but do things that are really, really good for you. Doesn't care, it doesn't matter what other people think, doesn't matter what your teammates think, just do what is good for you because at the end of the day, your personal performance is what's gonna help the team and what's gonna hopefully help you guys get the win. So at the end of the day, just make sure that you're doing what's great for you. Dante in the other room over there has his own routine. He and I don't really talk a ton other than to say the recovery pump machine. Other than that, he and I probably won't speak until the car ride. Um, and that's when we really start getting into that mood together. Again, just kind of do what you got to do. And it's uh, really exciting. I mean, I'm absolutely buzzing because we haven't had an official game since beginning of March, I think. So it's been several months and I am just absolutely gunning to, to go. But at the same time, I have to make sure that my mood is sort of mellow at this point, which is why I'm just listening to music and watching soccer so that I don't expend all the adrenaline right away. That will probably start in about an hour where I'll start building that up to the game. All right, so lunch today is going to be a banana with the pasta and, ooh, hello. There you go, cool. All right. Find some. Here we go. Okay. So I'll show you guys right now what this looks like. So that is what this looks like. So it's kind of like a, it's like pad thai, but it's homemade and I make my own sauce. So it's less salt and it's like pretty much no sugar. And it just has broccoli in it with some chicken breast and rice noodles. And then the sauce that I make and then two eggs, but two eggs dispersed over that like entire pan full of this pad thai stuff. So gonna dig into this, get a bowl of that and a banana going, lots of fluid again, because I don't wanna get dehydrated. And also because it's my first game back, I anticipate probably a little bit of cramping at the very end. Although I did do really well in the fitness test. So we'll see what happens, but gotta be prepared. Ooh, fly, hello. 
and that is it. So that's gonna be lunch. I'm gonna get after it and then gonna start getting really into that game mode. I'll set you guys up when I start to pack all my stuff and kind of explain that a little bit. But after that, I'm probably gonna set the camera down until after the game just because I wanna make sure I'm ready to go and that's super important to me. Let's get after it and uh, see you guys in a bit. All right guys, so time for mixing up my special drink in the water. So we're gonna go about half of this packet. So this is the Hydra Safe stuff that I was talking about. Not sponsored by them, but I do get really great discounts through a gentleman that works at our club, as I've mentioned in previous videos. This stuff is awesome. It's an electrolyte replacement. This is Berry Blast. It's natural, no artificial ingredients, low carb, and it's gluten-free. So fantastic for my diet stuff. That one has a little bit of sugar in it, uh, some natural sugar. And then the other thing I do, which is kind of a guilty pleasure of mine on game days, is this amino energy stuff by On. Yeah, it's like a lot of caffeine. So this is fun. It's not pre-workout, it's just amino acids, muscle recovery, and energy, and focus. So that's kind of the idea. So I put about half the packet of the HydraSafe in and then a couple scoops of the Amino Energy into a liter and a half. So it's really not a super concentrated solution at the end of the day, but it is enough that it gets me going during game day. So I'll mix this up and show you kind of what it looks like. without spilling all over the place. Okay, that's probably good. This stuff, I actually use one of the, oop, hello, I'm spilling already. Inevitably, I'm gonna make a total mess of this, but that's fine. Okay. Because it's already full, I'm gonna mix it up and then probably drink a little bit and then get some more of the caffeine solution in there. There we go. So it's kind of this weird brown color, um, but that's just because it's what happens when you mix green and purple. All right, see how it tastes. very strong. <laughs> We're gonna add another bit of the caffeine though because why not? And it's the first game back, so. And I don't, for those of you who know, um, and I've probably said this before, I don't drink coffee, so I really don't have caffeine that often because it really does give me the jitters. Um, I have a lot of energy just at most times in the day, so I really don't need that. Um, and with a good diet, you really don't need coffee for uh, using the restroom. I'm not sure what else is like digestive issues, I guess. A lot of people take it for going to the bathroom in the morning, but I don't need that because with a proper diet, you don't need it at all. Um, and so I have caffeine only on game days, which again is sort of that anomaly day, which I get to splurge a little bit on the uh, energy boost and that helps me to get sorted for the game. So that is it for this really gross looking solution. I'll have about half of it before the game and half of it at halftime because by the time the game's over it's gonna be five o'clock and God knows I do not need caffeine after like 4.30 or 5 because otherwise I will be up until 
midnight or one o'clock, which I probably will be anyway, because I'm hanging out with some friends tonight, but that is, uh, again, aside the point. Um, I've got a banana that I'll eat probably about 30 minutes from now. So two and a half hour, two hours before game time. That'll give me a little extra carbs before the game. And then I'm gonna go pack my bag right now. So I'll walk you guys through that. guys last little bit before I get off for the game so we have let's see if I can show you guys so as you saw um, get the microphone out of the way um, the one sec there we go hopefully that's better hope oh, so we got the bag and there's some soap and deodorant in there plus a pair of extra socks got a towel the two pairs of boots that I'm wearing, um, for those of you who didn't see the video a couple days ago, uh, I got a pair of Phantom Venoms in all black. Those are in this bag. And then in this bag are um, my Hyper Venom 3 uh, soft grounds that have been in a couple of my videos. So I can open that up with one hand. I've had these for probably three years now. Um, so that's those, they're the pink and silver ones or the orange and silver ones, depending on how that comes across on camera. So that's in the other bag, just in case it starts raining, you never really know. And then this is a change of clothes for after the game. And then this is just uh, underwear and our, this is like a training top kind of thing for our club. Uh, and then this is training top and then I'm wearing the shorts that I'm gonna wear. Um, and then in this bag, as you guys saw in the last video, that's, uh, this is just an extra pair of grip socks, but this is all the tape and everything, and that's all gonna fit in that bag. So that is uh, the, sort of the conclusion to the pregame rituals. I'm gonna get focused up and sorted with all sorts of music and a shower quick, get all clean, ready to go, and just get my mind right. So I'll see you guys after the game. Really stoked for this, and I'll check in with you guys then. See you soon. Hey, what's going on, guys? So we just finished the game. We got back. Uh, unfortunately, lost 2-1 off of some pretty dumb penalty calls. There were actually two penalty calls and a red card for some reason. It's a preseason game, so uh, I'm not really super worried about it. I thought I played really well, had a couple really great runs in, crosses, and uh, hit the post once, which was frustrating. But, you know, at the end of the day, like, we're all about positive and moving forward, so that's fantastic. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for tuning in today. I'm just gonna hop in the shower and then I'm gonna go hang out with some friends. So I will leave you guys with that. That is a day in the life of what a game day looks like. We play at three every single Saturday. So that is kind of gonna be the schedule for the rest of the season as far as what I'm doing during the day before and after usually hang out with friends or just relax afterwards. Um, my body's pretty sore, so it's gonna be very low key. Thanks so much for tuning in, guys. Uh, feel free to subscribe below and uh, like the video, and I will see you guys in the next one. And as always, be awesome. Take care, guys.